Juju Watkins, you're a step going, and Nikola Sokova. Look at the face, though. Juju, I got this dance just for you today, Juju. What you got to think? I got this dance just for you today. Oh, oh, God. 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 Juju Watkins is an amazing phenom right now. I'm talking about a special player. Everybody knew she was special, though. She's been number one player in the country since she was 14. I'm talking about jumper look like mellows out there, bro. I'm, yo, it's different. She is really the one that's probably going to take the WBA over the top, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm not going to lie. And I read some stuff about her that's really interesting, bro. It's like, she was so great as a kid. She was already on Sports Illustrated at 14 years old. Like, little kid facing all I'm talking about ready to get buckets with the buns in her head. She didn't care. She was looking for, for smoke. Senior year, she had the craziest game of her high school life where she scored 60 points. I'm talking about she was just shooting it from anywhere. I felt like she was a, she was a grown up one of these little kids. She was just shooting the ball from half court, deep range. It didn't matter. She had a crowd going wild. Going Juju, wild. she lived up the expectation when she got to high school. She was number one player as a kid already on Sports Illustrated in 2020. I'm talking about, she said, man, I got this, man. I got this. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep the starter on my shoulder and I'm gonna deliver. 60 ball in your head. Take these threes. Take this, take that. Crazy game, bro. It was crazy. When I first seen that video, I was like, oh my God, she going crazy. Like, and y'all already know she committed to USC, stayed in a whole hometown. Her and Bronny actually came out the same year. Her, Bronny, Jada Williams, she went to UCLA. But and obviously, Juju, first game of the season. 30 ball, 30 ball, easy. I'm talking about making it look easy. Have a smirk on her face, like, this is too easy out here. Like, that's the kind of life Juju is having right now at this point. Like, everything, she can have everything she wants. Bro. And now people want to compare her to Caitlin Clark. But at this point, I'm thinking at a trajectory Juju Smith is on in college right now. She gonna might be better than Caitlin Clark. She had the most wins as a freshman as a college women's basketball player. Bro. And I think, I don't know who was first to say. I know Chandy Carter was up there. You know, I know Kelsey Plum was up there, but she was first. So if she could repeat that again, which I think she, I think she gonna go from 27 points to 28, 29 points. And then again, cause she gotta stay three years. The score rate gonna be done. So I think she can eclipse Caitlin Clark. And I think she gonna have more hype coming into the league. She's like, her game is crazy. She really liked that, bro. Like, really tough. And then Juju goes out of town to go see Cameron Brent and Stanford and gave them that mellow work. I'm talking about high post three, jab step, triple threats. I thought she hit one girl. She hit one girl, like, two plays back. The back, cut the coach yelling, go over there, go over there. Hit her with the, uh, jab step. Come here, in your mouth. You're going to take this in your mouth. You, you about to take this in your mouth. And then, uh, uh, dribble, midi like I'm Kobe. Knock it down. Next play, come down full speed, fast break, pull up for the three. Crowds go crazy. Time out. Crowd goes crazy. Time out. I'm talking about 50 ball. 50. And then the come the crowd out. The crowd was hyped. The crowd was hyped. She got that thing at the top of the key. Backed up for the three. Money in your nose. Now, now Juju's different. That 50 point game versus Stanford, I think, really set her apart from a all the first all, all the first that 50 point game was crazy at Stanford? At Stanford, you dropping 50 on them white girl? You do them like that. 50! They would allow girls to leave cops after one year. I feel like she could have left. Like, for like, bro, why am I still here, bro? I really did y'all girls dirty this year. You know, the Elite Eight where she faced Paige Buckers. I think it was the Elite. Maybe it was the Sweet 16, but I'm pretty sure it was the Elite Eight. It was a great game. I feel like Juju got to a bad spot. She was missing shots early. She definitely missing shots early. Paige Buckers is definitely there. If y'all want to see a Paige Buckers in this video, let me know in the comments. But Paige Buckers was definitely giving her that work in that video. But Juju stayed, you know what I'm saying, stay competitive in the game. But we already know what happened in the game. I mean, Juju was trying to get buckets. She was, they was guarding each other too at some time. Like, Paige Buckers was like, let me guard her. Juju was like, let me guard her. Like, I like competition like that, bro. These are the girls of the future. I think Juju and Paige are the girls of the future. I think Juju just gonna have that. I don't know. Juju had that motion. Cause Juju got another year. Paige gonna be gone already. So I think Juju gonna just be the top of the top. The creme that I creme. So look out for Juju a little bit. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about Juju, bro. But hey, her and Paige that game, it was it was crazy, but y'all already know what happened. Y'all already know what happened. Like Paige got the got the better of Juju, you know. In her season, she had she finished the year with like what, 27? Seven and three? Like, you can't be mad at that. So, I'm not mad at it, bro. I'm ready for what's going to happen year two. I'm ready for, you know, South Carolina, UConn, USC. is going to be a conversation to talk about. So, man, let me know in the comments what y'all want to see. Let me know. And I'm going to see you on the next